Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here and a privilege to be here. I am an architect, and I wish to tell you something. Are you aware that we are surrounded by habitat? We change one habitat to the other. See this hall, the volume, the space, the structure, the light, air conditioning is all architecture. We only move from one space to the other and we are surrounded by habitation. We celebrate our life through architecture. And that's why it is important to preserve. One of the most important things what I did was to enjoy the sustainability. Because we survive, we are happy because we create happy habitation, happy habitats. And we want our courtyards to breathe. We want light, we want air. Therefore, sustainability in our habitation is sustainability of our life. What exactly happens is we enjoy the perks of environment because we give back to the society through my profession. If I'm trained as an architect, I'm trained to draw perfect lines, but you are also the architects of environment. It's our joint responsibility, isn't it? Did anybody teach the cobwebs to make the, 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 the beautiful uh, cobwebs, the, the spiders? We are learning architecture through the environment. And environment is the one that teaches us how to build. Unfortunately, my profession, building industry, consumes maximum energy. And it's also a matter of regret that we produce a lot of waste. So I need to regulate the building industry. I need to regulate my own profession. And that's our joint responsibility. One of the first things we should do is we should build that which saves environment. One of the first things we should learn is, let us not be wasters of environment. Let us produce something which is generation of happy habitation. Now, for example, there's a, there's a great architect called Le Corbusier who designed Chandigarh. And he says that buildings are palatable. That means buildings can be touched. There's also an architect called Louis Kahn who did I Am Ahmedabad. In his soliloquy with the material, he asks the material, what would you like to be? And the building said, an arch. And all things in his I Am Ahmedabad became arch. So do buildings talk? They may not. But they convey. And they convey their unpleasantness if they are badly done. And they say, we are very happy if they're designed very well. So we are existing from a habitation to the other habitation. Why disregard them? Why degrade them? Why not involve ourselves with the profession, with everything which is around us? It is unavoidable aspect of our existence. We go to schools, we go to colleges, we go home, we go to malls, theaters, and this very space. It's so beautiful. We avoid places which are dark, dingy, unpleasant. We want to go to places which are absolutely reverberating, which are thriving with life. They are inviting, educating. There's some which says, come, I wish to be with you. That is the environment which you and I need to create. Do we need education for it? No. We just need understanding of it. And this is what I do, friends. I make buildings which respond to the nature. I see that we, I don't waste. I see that I do architecture with local materials. I see that I involve the artisans. I see that I involve the client. I want to educate. I do not want to impart something which is not acceptable. I would rather see that you say, I'm so happy living here. I would rather see my fees is not the rupees, it's the satisfaction which you derive because I make for you a habitation which is thriving, which is sustainable. It is our prime duty to realize that we do not build anything which is unnecessarily wasteful. Sustain means to endure. 
in the present conditions, in the present set of conditions, I and my buildings must endure. I need to preserve, I need to save energy. So this makes the foundation of everything built from today to the future. Friends, we are here because we have energy, we have resources, we have understanding of our planet, of our mother earth, right from mud, bricks to mortar. And this is what is important. I say that we are here because we are sustained ourselves. Let this be our mission. It is my mission. It is your mission. Henceforth, the mission of the planet, the sustainability. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your insightful words.